This is my first in a series of tutorials for graphic designers, um, Illustrator, Photoshop, After Effects. In this, in this case, it's going to be an Illustrator tutorial. The purpose of these is to kind of keep them um, brief and just explain a feature without uh, making it too diluted, which a lot of YouTube videos I find do. So these are going to be short, sweet, simple, and hopefully I'll have a lot of tutorials and you can just search them by feature. By um, yeah. So today's feature I'm going to be working on is the invert mask right there in Illustrator. It's a really great tool. Um, it basically knocks out like it knocks out the opacity of a color without actually having to go in and knock it out um, manually. I'll show you what I mean better by that. Bear with me, this is my first tutorial. It's exciting stuff. So we'll start with one of these default um, Illustrator. It's kind of cool, but it is default, so I would never actually use this in a design, but for these purposes, it gets the job done. So that'll just be our background. Um, this can all be on the same layer, doesn't really matter. So we'll make a transparency box of this, a transparency mask of this green box. And all right, so let's go. With the thing you want to make a mask of, in this case, the green box selected, go down to the transparency window, which um, if you don't have, go under window and transparency right there. And I, I always keep this open on my Illustrator because I use it so often, it's a great feature. When you first click it, I'll go back just so you can see. I clicked make mask. When you first click it, it goes away. Um, that's because clip is there. Undo clip, hit invert mask, and you have to go into the box next to it right there. Um, you know what's the mask, what you're making the mask of by this green box right next to it. So now I'm working within here. Anything I do, any text, any shape, that is white will be totally see-through. Anything black will be not see-through at all. Anything in between depends on the color. So we'll start with some text, which right now you don't see at all because it's black. If I turn change it to white, it shows through. And this is way too big of a font. So bump that down to 80. Awesome sauce because what's awesomer than awesome sauce nothing all right um yeah this isn't supposed to look pretty but so you can see how that's totally see-through the other cool thing and normally i don't fuss with other colors i just i just keep it white but whatever you do to the opacity with white the less see-through it is so if you're only doing 19 percent, it's only showing through a little bit as you can see there. Um, this this feature has like endless capabilities. M one of the ways I like to use it is for putting text inside. I want this to be capitalized. Is for putting text inside a shape. But then um, another, another feature that I do a lot of times would be to just kind of separate it from what other, other shape I have because I don't like all the time when shapes touch. So I'll, I'll show you what I mean a little bit better with that. So we'll just take this up here because that's way too busy. I just want to show you how it shows through and how the opacity affects it. But yeah, we have our awesome sauce box right now. And I'll just type out um, Carl Co. Because that is me. Carl Co. is awesome sauce. So let's say I have this over my green box and I make it the same color green. Can't see it at all, obviously. Kinda, yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty awful. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy it and I'm going to go to my box and go back to my transparency and Command Shift V, paste it into the same place and you know, I'm just gonna add a white stroke to it. You can't see anything other than the little white stroke because it's under the original Carl Co right here. I'm pointing to the screen like you can see me point. Um, yeah, but as I 
increase the stroke, you can kind of see how it just blocks it out nicely, follows the letters. If I were to move this, it would look like that. So, yeah, and you know, like I said before, we can even take this, it doesn't have to be at 100%, it could be at 50, only that's even worse, so do it at 100%. Um, as long as I'm in this transparency box here, I can't move anything else. You actually have to click out of it onto the square. But once I do, it selects all the transparencies underneath it. And I can kind of move it around. And we have this fabulous design. Um, ooh, one more thing too. It's also really, really awesome for textures. Um, there's tons of texture packs out there, just vector textures. They have to be, they have to be white, remember. But we'll just do, we'll just do this. We'll use these uh, grunge brushes vector packs, which is under the brushes then here. Vector packs, grunge brushes. So this will, this will just kind of show you an example of what I mean. Which you, which would be really, this would be really difficult if you were going through and live painting and trying to knock out the colors to do something like this. It would take so long, and this is just a simple click, and you have this cool, gritty, yeah, if you were to try to go through and knock out each individual little nick. But, yeah, so that is it in a nutshell. I hope I didn't ramble on too much. We'll go through what I did. I had separation here, um, transparency here. Uh, textures there and then also changing the great uh, the opacity also works with um, gradients so it's a good way it is also a good way to fade so let's see if I had this let's say right there and that's just a white box but I change it to this this box and like I said before, I like to keep everything kind of in just levels of void because that's those are the absolutes so I'm gonna have opacity at 100% and 0% right there and I'll just change this gradient so it's going like that so it's also a really good way to fade stuff out too and fade stuff into each other you can even make these masks on photos it doesn't have to be a vector shape and yeah, so that's our design for today. Carl Co is awesome sauce. Like I said, it's not about the design, it's about the, the features. I talked fast, but luckily there's a stop and rewind feature on really any digital video that you watch, which is really awesome. All right, so I hope um, this was okay. Like I said, first tutorial. It's exciting. I'm going to try to crank more of these out, though, and we'll have a good um, library. All right, thanks for listening. Stop screen recording. Bye.